Hi friends, welcome to Classic Education YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about one national park which was in news because of the reintroduction or the reintroduction of the red panda into the wild. Okay, that national park is Singalila National Park located in the state of West Bengal. Okay, so before going into the details about the Singalila National Park, let me give data related to the total national parks, total wildlife sanctuaries, okay, in total, how, how much protected area is there in India, okay. See, first, there are 106 national parks in India, which occupy the total area of 1.3 pi percentage of the total geographical area of the country. There are 568 wildlife sanctuaries, okay, which constitute 3.64 percent of of the total geographical area of the country then there are conservation reserves which are 88 in number there are 127 community reserves okay so in total there are 889 protected areas in the country which occupy more or less the 5 percent of the total geographical area of the country okay so out of this 889 106 are the national parks okay so today today we are going to discuss discuss about one such national park that is singalila national park okay the singalila national park this is located in the state of west bengal okay it is on the singalila ridge at an altitude of about 7000 feet above the mean sea level okay this is located in the Darjeeling district of West Bengal. So this is this national park is located in the Singalila Ridge. There is a one ridge which runs from north to south in a vertical manner. Okay, it is a series of various mountains. Some of the mountains, some of the hills are the tallest peaks in the West Bengal. Okay, so in in that Singalila Ridge, this Singalila National Park is located. So this park was declared as a wildlife sanctuary in the year 1986. In 1986, this before you know uh, announcing it as a national park. Earlier, it was a wildlife sanctuary, which was announced in the year 1896. Sorry, 1986. But in the year 1992, this wildlife sanctuary was converted into national park. Okay, now we are calling it as the Singalila National Park, which was announced in the year 1992. The region had long been used as the trekking route. Yes this is very important this is one of the adventurous routes are the one one of the adventurous tours in the west bengal district in the tourism of the west bengal this park or this single ridge has got the much significance okay so because this has been used as the trekking route from the mane bhajang to the sandakpu these are the hill stations or the hills in the west bengal so this trekking route extends from Mane, Bha Mane Bhajang to uh, Sandakpu, from that Sandakpu hill to the Falut. These are the important hills in the West Bengal, Mane Bhajang, Sandakpu and the Falut. These are the three prominent peaks in the West Bengal. So to visit these pre uh, peaks, various you know, trekkers or the adventure tourists, they will go and they will use this national park as the route. Now, this is the map of this Singalila Ridge. This ridge runs from north to north to south. Okay, this is north and this is the south. From north to south, it is running in a vertical manner. So, this is the fallout. This is one of the prominent peaks in the West Bengal. So, followed by Sandakpu and the Mana Bhanjang. These are the very three important hill in the West Bengal and these three hills are located in the Singalila Ridge. Okay, so the trekkers they will start journey from Darjeeling or from Sukhya Pokri. From here onwards, they will use this whole national park as the route. Okay, so Sandakpu is the tallest peak in West Bengal. Remember this fact. Next, this is the detailed route of this uh, trekkers. Okay, this is Sandakpu. So here it is your fallet. And here is the 
your Singalila National Park. This green area is the Sing uh, Singalila National Park. Okay, this is the Darjeeling district of West Bengal. Okay, the, this is the Siliguri area. From below this Siliguri, there is West Bengal. Okay, north of here it is the Assam and all uh, located. Now, talking about the geography, political geography, let us consider first the political geography. I mean, how much you know this area shares border with which state or the which country. So, the park is bordered on the north by the Sikkim. So, in the northern part of this national park, there is a state of Sikkim. That means the national park of Sil Singalila shares the border with the Sikkim state. And in the west, this park is bordered by Nepal. In the west of this park, there is Nepal and the north of this Singalila National Park, there is Sikkim state. So, this is political boundary of the uh, national park. When with respect to the physical geography, the park is part of the eastern Himalayas. Okay, This Singalila National Park is part of the eastern Himalayas. So, you know very well that there are various divisions in the Himalayan range. There are Eastern Himalayas, there are Western Himalayas, okay, there are uh, Ladakh range, Jaskar range, Pirpanjal range and various such ranges are there, even the Shivaliks, okay. These are the different zonations of the Himalayan range. So, in this Himalaya, they are uh, again classified as the Eastern Himalayas and the Western Himalayas. This Singalila National Park is part of the Eastern Himalayan ecosystem, okay. This Singalila Ridge which runs roughly north to the south. Okay, yes, you have seen in the previous slide that it runs in the orientation of north to south. Then the two highest peaks of the West Bengal, the Sandakhu, this is the tallest peak in West Bengal followed by Falat. Okay, so they have the elevation of around 3600 meter and yes, 3, 000, more than 3600 meter they have the elevation. Then Rammam river and Sri Kola rivers, these are very important facts. Rammam river and the Sri Kola river. These two rivers flow through the Singalila National Park. Okay. Rammam river and Sri Kola river. So, let us look into all the details through the map. So, this is the map of India. Within this map, in, within India, in the eastern part of India, there is a West Bengal. Okay. This is the state of West Bengal. So, in the northern part of West Bengal, in the east of India, there is a West Bengal, okay. In the northern part of West Bengal state, there is a Singalila National Park or in the northern part, there is a district called as the Darjeeling district, okay. There is, this is the Darjeeling district in the West Bengal. So, within this Darjeeling district, there is a park called Singalila National Park, okay. So, this Singalila National Park occupies the northwest part of the Darjeeling district. Okay, this is the location, exact location of the Singalila National Park. Within this Singalila National Park, there is a highest peak of West Bengal. That is, that is Sandakpu. Okay, so see if you look into the West Bengal map, this West Bengal shares its border with different countries. Okay, so West Bengal shares the border with three countries. One is Nepal. Okay, West Bengal shares the border with Nepal. It shares border with the Bhutan and it shares border with the Bangladesh. In the east of West Bengal, there is a Bangladesh. In the west of Bang uh, West Bengal, there is a country of Nepal. In the north of West Bengal, there is a country of Bhutan. That means the state of West Bengal shares its border with the three countries. Okay, it has international boundary with the three countries. Along with these three countries, there are various other states with which the West Bengal shares the border. Those states are Odisha. In the southwest, there is a Odisha. Okay, in the west, there is Jharkhand. Again, there is a, in the western part, there is Bihar. Bihar, Jharkhand and Odisha, they share the border with the West Bengal. Three states and the three countries, they share the border with West Bengal. Okay, so this is the state of West Bengal. In the north of this West Bengal uh, state, there is a district called as the Darjeeling district. Okay, so within this Darjeeling district, there is a Singalila National Park. Okay, so this is the Darjeeling district. This green color area is the Darjeeling district. Below this Darjeeling district, there is a Siliguri corridor. Okay, so below the Siliguri, there is West Bengal country. Sorry, uh, Bangladesh country. Now I said in the within the national park there are two rivers one is Rammam river 
another one is sri khola river these two rivers flow through the singalila national park this rammam river flows through the northern part of this national park okay this is the district of darjeeling so in the northwest part of the darjeeling district there is a singalila park within this park this rammam river flows okay there is another river that is called sri khola river okay sri khola river these two rivers flow through the singalila national park okay with respect to the human geography what kind of people they live or they got the habitation in this area so there are various tribal groups there are various ethnic groups they are the sherpas there are tibetans there are rais thamangs newars lepchas chetris bahuns sunwars limbus gurungs and the bujels these are the various ethnic groups which are residing or who are residing in the singalila national park or the singalila ridge area okay this is the ethnic or the ethnic ethnicity of the singalila national park area then with respect to the biomes there are various forest types this singalila national park being located in the eastern himalayan region this park is a uh, location for different kind of forest there are three kind of three kinds of forests are found this national park falls in the indo malaya eco zone yes with respect to the eco zone this singalila national parks belongs to the sing indo malaya eco zone this eco zone has various categorization again the biomes corresponding to the eco zone this eco zone the biomes corresponding to the indo malaya eco zone which are present in this area are eastern himalayan subalpine conifer forests okay S eastern himalayan subalpine conifer forests then eastern himalayan broadleaf forests then himalayan subtropical pine forests okay subalpine coniferous forest broadleaf forest and the subtropical pine forest these are the three types of the forests are the biomes which are found in this indo malaya eco zone so if you look into this categorization of the biomes these forests are dominated by the conifer forests followed by the broadleaf forests okay so the vegetation or the the fauna the the flora and fauna they are all you know uh, they are very much accustomed accustomed to the climatic conditions of the eastern himalayan uh, region now with respect to the flora we have seen the biome type now we will discuss about the what kind of flora we will find in this area so talking about the tree species okay there are various tree species found one is the bamboo oak magnolia and rhododendron these are the tree species found in the uh, singalila national park or the ridge area there are again flowering plants along with these tall tree species there are various flowering plants these flowering plants are the primula geranium saxifraga bistort sinicio cotoniester and numerous orchids yes the orchids are you know uh, they are found in various numbers in the eastern himalayan region especially in the northeast part of india and sikkim it is known for the orchids okay so here in this singalila national park also orchids are uh, found along with various other flowering species of the plant okay so sandakpu i said this is the tallest peak in the west bengal this is known or this peak is known as the mountain of poisonous plants this sandakpu highest peak of west bengal is known as the mountain of the poisonous plants because of the large concentration of the himalayan cobra lilies okay so it is a poisonous plant that is the himalayan cobra lily it is a poisonous plant it is found in the maximum number in this Uh, hill because of these himalayan cobra lily which is poisonous this peak is called as the mountain of poisonous plants okay so this is the sobriquet of the sandakpu uh, hill in the west bengal then talking about the fauna or the animals there are mammals which are small in size as well as large in size the smaller animals which are found in this single uh, singalila national park are the red panda this is a very unique species followed by the pangolin pangolin and the red panda they are the characteristic species in this singalila national park along with them there are barking deer 
yellow throated martin wild boar and pika these are the you know small animal species which are mammals they are found in the single island national park there are larger animals like the himalayan black deer uh, sorry black bear leopard clouded leopard sirau and takin see these are the different mammals which are bigger in size which are found in the singlela national park so if you look into these mammals there is a variety of mammals okay so this in you know, a singlela national park is again you know known for the diversity of the fauna in this area then talking about the birds yes this being the uh located in the eastern part of the india there are various migratory birds coming from the siberian region of the russia so this singlela national park acts as a flyway for various migratory birds okay it is a flyway for the various migratory birds coming from the different region through this eastern part of the india okay so there are various bird species i have mentioned here you can you know take the name of these bird species okay so along with these bird species there are reptiles and the amphibians the himalayan newt so this is the amphibian which is endangered this is endemic in this area himalayan newt okay the amphibian species which is endemic to the singalila national park which is found in this area see this singalila national park is in news because of the reintroduction of the red pandas okay because of this context we are discussing this topic today the reintroduction of red pandas so in the world there are various you know species of the pandas one is red panda and another one is giant panda this eastern himalaya is known for the red pandas so the number of red pandas has been declining in the world wild so there are efforts which are aimed at increasing the number of the red pandas so th these efforts are you know concentrated on the captive breeding so in the different geological uh, zoological parks are in the various zoos the red pandas have been bred okay in the captivity so singalila and the nioro valley so these are the two national parks in the west bengal along with these two national parks again there are various other national parks are also but in west bengal singalila and the nioro valley national parks are the two protected areas where the mammal is found that means the red panda panda is found red panda is found in its wilderness it is found freely in these two national parks which are the singalila and the nioro valley national park there are 38 no red pandas in the singalila okay there are 32 red pandas found in the nioro valley national park okay that means their number is you know reducing so singalila national park launches the program that aims to release about 20 red pandas in the period of 5 years yes so from this year onwards from 20 22 onwards they have planned this west bengal government has planned to introduce the red pandas into the singalila national parks within this 5 years the program is aimed at releasing the 20 red pandas into the singalila national park okay so this is the context because of which the singalila national park is in news so along with this singalila national park there is a zoological park called as the padmaja naidu himalayan zoological park padmaja naidu himalayan zoological park this zoological park or the zoo is located in the town of darjeeling okay again in the west bengal this zoological park has started an ambitious program to release the 20 of the red pandas in about 5 years of the 5 uh, years into the forest okay so this zoo along with, in collaboration with the singalila national park so it is aiming to introduce these you know red pandas into the wilderness okay it specializes in breeding animals adapted to the alpine conditions yes this indo malaya eco zone it is you know uh, characterized by the alpine ecosystem this zoological park has specialized in breeding the animal species which have adapted to the alpine conditions of the climate okay so wh what kind of these you know animals they are snow leopard this zoological park is breeding the snow leopard critically endangered 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 himalayan wolf and the red panda red panda himalayan wolf and the snow leopard these are the three animals which have been uh, you know uh, in news or which are being you know bred in this national uh, sorry zoological park 
So with the birth of the couple of cubs few weeks ago, the number of red pandas at the Darjeeling Zoo has increased to 27. Now, because of the breeding efforts of the this zoological park, there are 27 red pandas right now in this zoological park. Out of these 27. the 20 will be released into the singalila singalila national park within next 5 years they are not going to release all the 20 red pandas at a time time to time they will release 4 5 or 2 or 3 so based on the requirement these red pandas will be re released into the singalila national park okay so this year in october 2022 they have planned to release three female red pandas into the singalila national park okay now talking about the red panda there are two species of the panda okay one is the giant panda another one is the red panda these two are the different in the with respect to their appearance with respect to their genetics they are different okay these are the two species of the panda one is giant and the another one is red panda red panda is endemic to the forests of india bhutan nepal Myanmar and the China. So these red pandas, they are endemic to this area, having the Bhutan, India, Nepal, South China, and the Myanmar. That means they are not found anywhere in the world. Okay, they are endemic to this region. These red pandas are shy. They are solitary in nature and they are arboreal animals. Okay, so arboreal animals means they will get they will get the habitat. That means they want to dwell on the tree. they don't want to come down they will not have the habitation that they, they do not have the niche on the ground they will get their habitat or their dwelling place on the trees okay so that is why they are called as the arboreal animals okay they are solitary so they are not found in groups okay you can found you can find only one red panda at a time okay so that is the meaning of solitary they are shy okay but one more character characteristic feature is that they will come down they will come down from the tree only during the evening time you see for the whole day they will dwell on the tree uh, tree but in the evening time only they will come down for the hunting or for gathering other food material okay so this is the nature of the red pandas so these are considered as indicator species for ecological change yes if there is any change in the ecology or if there is any change in the weather condition they will indicate the change in the weather by by you no know, decreasing in number or by increasing in their number their number indicates that something change is happening in the ecological system so they are native to the eastern himalayas and the southwestern china okay we have discussed this point then what they will eat their feeding habit is that they will feed mainly on the bamboo shoots and the leaves their primary diet is the bamboo leaves and the shoot okay the tender shoots of bamboo along with the leaves so along with the bamboo they will also feed on the fruits and the blossoms of the different tree species okay so this is the feeding habit of the red pandas so this is how the red panda and the giant panda look like so that these are the two species of the panda this is the giant panda this is the red panda which this is endemic to the eastern himalayas especially the myanmar bhutan nepal india and the western china okay so this is red panda this is the giant panda giant panda is also found in the china also and other parts of the world okay this is again the giant panda this is you know bigger in size compared to the red panda this is red panda which has the longer tail so this giant panda has the small tail this red panda has the longer tail but the with respect to the life span this red panda lives longer compared to the giant panda okay so this is how they dwell on the trees so because of this nature they are called as the arboreal animals now india is home to both the species of red panda yes in general there are two species of the panda one is giant and one is red but within the red panda there is again uh, categorization there are two species within the red panda one is himalayan red panda another one is the chinese red panda okay himalayan red panda chinese red panda both these sub species of the red panda are found in the india okay india is home to both the species of pandas then red panda is the state animal of sikkim this is very important fact so every state has adopted its own state bird state butterfly state 
uh, bird or the animal okay but the sikkim has adopted the red panda as the state animal okay then categorization of the red pandas with respect to their conservation with respect to their protection various organizations have categorized red panda into different grouping okay the international international union for conservation of nature and natural resources it has categorized red panda as the endangered species in its red list okay in the iucn red list red panda has been categorized as the endangered species but in the sites it is included in the appendix one of these sites then in the india's law that is the wildlife protection act of 1972 this act categorizes the red panda as as the schedule one animal that means this animal requires the highest protection with respect to the sites as well as the wildlife protection of india act 1972 okay the giant panda see compared to the red pandas the giant pandas are vulnerable see these are endangered red pandas are the endangered but the giant pandas are vulnerable they compared if you compare between the red panda and the giant panda giant panda are you know comparatively they are at a safer place okay though they are vulnerable they are vulnerable that means they are again they are also threatened but the threat level of red giant panda is less compared to the red pandas okay so this giant panda is also included in the appendix 1 okay of the sites and the iucn red list iucn red list vulnerable category okay so this is about the giant panda then conservation efforts what kind of conservation efforts are being taken up with respect to the red pandas so the conservation of this red panda started in the singlela national park in the 1994 itself okay so this is the conservation breeding that means the captive breeding of red panda panda started in the year 1994 so in 2003 there were 22 red pandas in the singlela national park okay in the year 2004 they have released two more pandas and 2019 four pandas have been released into the singlela national park so though there is a introduction of the red pandas into the national park their number is being reduced okay it is subjected this species is subjected to the threat okay despite this initiation of okay there is no red panda in singlela national park or there is no increase in the number why because of the two reasons one is cross border poaching and construction of the roads and other infrastructures within the national park of the singlela so cross border poaching that means the singlela national park is located between nepal and india okay so this west bengal shares the border with nepal bhutan also and myanmar also so because of the narrow strip of land between different countries there is a cross border poaching for the red panda this red panda has some of the uh, cultural values in the chinese uh, society so because of that we, uh, they, they have been hunted okay so another one is construction of the roads which will lead to the accidental death of the red pandas so these are the threats faced by the red panda okay to to overcome these threats to increase the number of red panda the conservation efforts are on by the state government as well as by the government of india okay this is all about the singalila national park and associated species called as the giant panda thank you very much for watching this video